war finally ended and John and his best friend Lucian Freud, who'd worked together since 1942, got away as far as they could, but because there were still travel restrictions and currency restrictions, they couldn't get abroad, but they went as far as they could in England, which was to the Scilly Isles off the coast of Cornwall, which have this amazing microclimate, which makes them like uh, an outpost of the Aegean somehow drifted to the Atlantic. And they loved it. And as you see, there was this complete explosion of colour in John's work as a result of this exposure to, to uh, the start of his journey to freedom and this sort of stepping stone to this life in the sun. He's very much influenced by Miro and Picasso at this point. He's also trying to make a big statement in limited means. He hated um, having to explain himself and he said he only did this picture like this because he'd only been able to pack a few colours, but I think there was a more serious artistic reason for that. John and Lucian looked on the Scilly Isles as a, as a point of departure, and they met this Breton fisherman in a, in a, a fishing boat in the, in the harbour, and they basically stowed away on his boat, aiming to get to Paris and Picasso, and then on to the south. What they didn't realise was that there was a customs check for all boats leaving the City Isles in Penzance. And these two lads in the hold were discovered and ejected. While John was still in the Sillies, or just after, he painted this postcard of a Greek fisherman on the beach at Tresco, the island in, in, in the Sillies where they'd stayed. He'd never seen a Greek fisherman. This is a completely imaginary figure, but it's the place and the company he wants to keep and where he would actually be, but not for another year. <laughs>